There are true problems with TMJ in that there are bony abnormalities sometimes, there are traumas that change the shape of things, there are discs that get locked and, and that start a clicking and, and you guys are, are much more the experts on all of that than I am. Let me teach you and train you about what Resmax therapy can do to affect all of that. And then you look at the picture down at the bottom there, and you see that squid on her face there? That is the trigeminal nerve. And that's what I want to focus a lot of time on for you guys, okay? What do you guys know about the trigeminal nerve? Cranial nerve number five, good. Three main branches, some say four. Yeah. Sensory and motor. Sensory, good. And motor, which is very important to uh, understand that a lot of the cranial nerves are sensory only or motor only. Um, cranial nerves meaning that they go, they go straight to go without having to, uh, to pass through the spinal cord, so they go straight into the brain. These are uh, very important sensory uh, um, objects like your ocular, oculomotor, the optic nerve, you know, all of these are, uh, are nerves that go straight into the brain, they don't go through the spinal cord, okay? Well, the trigeminal nerve, number five, is very important because you guys play with it daily, don't you, in the dental chair? What, uh, what branches do you normally uh, work with or care about? Okay, so trying to numb it up, trying to, what else do you try and do with it? Avoid it. Avoid it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's an interesting nerve for, for many different reasons. But here are the main functions of the, uh, of the cranial nerves. Smell, vision, eyelid and eyeball movement. Superior oblique turns the eye downward laterally. Controls facial expressions. Look at that nerves and muscles of mastication or the chewing. And look at all of those activities, opening the mouth. Look at all of those muscles that are involved in opening the mouth. And look how many of them cranial nerve number five is involved in. Now, if we look at closing the mouth, look at how many are involved in that. You know that because that's part of that clenching response, right? So the master muscle, the temporalis, the medial or the inter internal pterygoid, all of these run by the uh, cranial nerve number five, that trigeminal. But wait a second, didn't we just talk about opening the mouth being controlled by the trigeminal nerve? If you guys have studied anatomy very much, um, I did for a long time but didn't really realize this connection here. But do you realize that the nerve that goes to the biceps muscle is a complete opposite to the nerve that goes to the tricep muscle? They do opposite motions. One pulls the arm in, one extends the arm. Opposite nerves. The nerves that make the hand close and the nerves that make the hand open are opposite nerves. Everywhere in the body, the nerves that pull the head in and down are opposites the nerves that pull the head up and back. All kinds of opposites in the body. But what did we just talk about here at the jaw? Opening the mouth, closing the mouth. Lateral movement of the, of the mouth, protrusion of the mandible, Retraction of the mandible. All of those motions, look how many of them are controlled by that same nerve. How does it do that? If you go back to your picture and look at the way that nerve goes to absolutely almost everything in that area there, you can see why it becomes a major, major player. 
and it controls opening and closing. That means you bite down on your tongue or bite down on your cheek and the same nerve that's telling you to close is the same nerve that's telling you to open immediately before you cut some part of you off. Well, that nerve becomes critical to the process that we're talking about with the Resmex therapy.